It'll be fine. Just there. Just sleeping. It'll be fine. This is, this is, how many, how, how long is this? How old is this? 2015, so it's like almost six years old, January. Um, one, oh, Daniel. Daniel, no, no. How many fucking responsibilities can I fucking have? I'll fucking start drinking. Any matter of this and I'll start fucking drinking again. Uh, some people pointed out at the time, she comes up, that the handshake here, look, watch this. Look at the handshake. Hey, Daniel, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, <laughs> Hey, it's good to see you. <laughs> how can, it, like, see when you see what happens. It's so rehearsed, right, you know, the, the whole speaking bit or the questions and it's all done perfectly one shot I think how could they know at least rehearse the fucking handshake hey Look. Daniel how are you I'm good how are you good, good. Victoria good, good. hey it's good to see you hey Daniel how are you I'm good how are you good Victoria good, good. hey it's good to see you hi welcome thank you I came from America to ask you 73 questions in your new store thank you what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning I check on my kids what's the daily ritual I'm up at 6 a.m. working out do you have any pets That'll be Coco Chanel, the bulldog who lives in LA. Do you have any pet names for your kids? I do, but if I tell you, they'll be mortified. What's one rule your kids consistently ignore? Don't play football in the house. What's the greatest thing you've learned from your kids? How to play football in the house and how to love unconditionally. You pick up any slang from them? I have no idea, dude. All right, let's check out <laughs> the store. What is your favorite color? Sunset orange. What's your favorite flavor? Salt. What's your favorite spice? Posh. What's your secret? Oh! We're not watching a lot. It we're no, we're not watching a lot. It's six minutes long. It's fucking. Jungle. I love this. I loved. I have no idea, dude. All right, let's check out this store. This this is one of my favourite bits. This this. What is your favourite colour? Sunset orange. That that can I you know? Sunset just like that. can I be looked in like that? Sunset orange. I'm not going to say why, but. Some of my best friends, they'll know why. It's a wee bit of a private joke, but um, Sunset Orange. I'm not going to tell you why. What's your favourite flavour? Salt. And then... Favourite spice? Posh. <laughs> What's well your secret said. talent? Because she used to be... Her nickname in the Spice Girls was Posh Spice. I used to be able to juggle. What's a movie that made you cry? I used to be able to juggle. Try the hardest. 12 Years a Slave. Movie that made you laugh? Wait hardest. a minute. What's a movie that made you cry the was hardest? Was that a cut? 12 Years a Slave. Movie that made you laugh the hardest. That was not That was not What's your secret talent? I used to be able to juggle. What's a movie that made you cry the hardest? 12 Years a Slave. Movie that is that, is that a, a whip cut? Is the call it? Is that what that is? The What's a movie that made you cry the hardest? 12 years a slave. Aye, why why that show that? Why show that? What's a movie that made you cry the hardest? 12 years a slave. Movie that made you laugh the hardest. That is, uh, wait a minute. Whip cut. Let me see. Whip cut. Transition. The whip pan. Transition. Hey everyone, Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I'm going to show you three different things you can do using whip pan transitions. Now if you're not familiar with what a whip pan transition is, it looks like this. So essentially, I'm taking two different shots and I'm hiding there the unit go. to make it look like See? one seamless shot. And I wasn't so a whip I'm pan, show you I know, you can but it's kind of... Visual effects using this transition. It's, so it's one of the ones where... You look away at something and then during the sort of motion or... Something like that. You, you you sort of use it in some sort of way as a an edit. Artist. What's a movie that made? Because it is a. It goes a wee bit funny there. Oh 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 oh. Nah. Wait a minute. 
12. Wait, 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 wait. We have to juggle. What's a movie that made Watch you your feet. The Watch your feet. Like that there, look. That there's a bit strange that the background seems to be moving. Look, the background seems to be moving more than the photo than her, but it could be because the camera does a bit of a zoom, so it could be a, something fucking up with the perspective. So where is her left foot there? Her left foot is behind, and it looks like she's walking forward. There. That I think that's all right there though. That's that is the normal one. And then she goes like that. So, but just before it. Da, 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 da. Keep watching the foot. Left, 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 left. That there. That there. Watch, watch her. What? Where do you think her feet are? What's the movie that made you left, cry the hardest? Left. Twelve right. years a slave. No, that looks like it. What is your favorite color? I don't. Sunset orange. What's your favorite flavor? Salt. What's your favorite spice? Posh. What's your secret talent? I used to be able to juggle. What's a movie that made you cry the hardest? 12 Years a Slave. Movie that made you laugh the hardest? We're the Millers. Heels or Flats? Geezer be second. Oh, Slave. Movie that made you laugh the hardest? Uh, look at the back of your jacket. What's a movie that made you no, cry the hardest? No, it's the same, it's the same. 12 Years a Slave. Movie that made you laugh the hardest? We're the Millers. Let me see your head again. Cry the hardest? 12 Years a Slave. Movie that made you laugh the hardest? No, if, I don't know if it is an edit. I don't know if it is. I can imagine they would have also have just done a wee, you know, a wee tweak of their hair. They would have, um, oh, your collar or something like that. Where the Millers. Heels or flats? Both. Diamonds or pearls? Both. We love Prince. Harry or William? Oh, you can't make me choose. Not today. Thank you. What's your favourite item for sale? I really like this bright pink fluffy dress over here. What's the best fashion secret you've ever learned? Look for edits. Less is more. If you ran the world, what's one law you would enact? If? Do you mean when? When I run the world, I'm going to make it the law that everybody has to do a little something philanthropic. If you had to wear one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Knickers. How do you get dressed in the morning? Socks, knickers, vest, dress. What do you wear when you need to relax? My long band pajamas. Besides cell phone and a purse, what are three things you always have in your bag? Birado, hand cream, number 23 makeup forever, lip liner, and my credit card. Victoria, would you mind putting credit card? Why would you need a credit card? Do you know what I mean like debit card? Do you know what I mean? This is so scripted. No, it's no. No, it's no. She's actually pretty funny if you see her. I know, I know, I know when you hear her talking, she's actually surprisingly down to earth. <laughs> Skillsy, thanks for the 513 sub. Stupidly epic, thanks for the sub. Samia Bam, thank you very much. You're a beautiful puzzle yourself, thank you very much. Laws Bobbins and Bonk, thanks for the subs. ...on that other pair of sunglasses. I think they'll make a perfect gift for someone. What's one question you like to be asked more often? Would you like an early night? What's one question you hate being asked? Why don't you smile? Good question. Why don't you smile? I'm smiling on the inside. I feel that I have a responsibility to the fashion community. Those last sunglasses are great. I think I'll take thank them. Thank you. Let me wrap them up. Don't thank forget you. Alina's in the fitting room oh, upstairs. If thank you, want to you check so much. What was that? What was that? Let me wrap them up. Don't thank forget you. Alina's in the fitting room oh, upstairs. If thank you, want to you check so much. Thank you. What was that? Is that a brand name or something? I didn't get that. Someone, someone's in the fitting room upstairs. Let me wrap them up. Don't thank forget you. Anina's in the fitting oh, room upstairs. Don't thank forget you. Anina's in the fitting room. Right. Thank you. Name. What's your favourite vacation spot? Napa Valley. What's a country you like to visit? I'd love to go to Kenya. If you bring one thing <laughs> from the States to... Wait, wait. Na Na Napa Valley, what's that? Is it Napa or fucking... Aya Napa? Napa Valley, where's that then? A county in California. Wine. Woo! Look at all this that I'm missing out on, man. Look at this. Look at all this, man. Fucking what a shite life. England, what would it be? A fanny pack. Eh, uh, what? Pack? If you bring one thing from the States to England, what would it be? A fanny pack. What's one piece of clothing in your wardrobe? Right, stop.
Right, what's she playing at here? What's she playing at? What's she playing at? Because she knows that we know. Now she knows that Fanny's a Fanny. She's English. So why is she... She'll know. There's no chance she just means, oh, a bum bag. David hates. It's to England, what would it be? A fanny pack. What's one piece of clothing in your wardrobe? <laughs> no. Wardrobe She's that at David it. Hates. He loved everything in my wardrobe. What's one piece of clothing in David's wardrobe that you hate? I don't really like that full-on Gucci look that he, uh, that he pushed a few years ago. If you could take back one look you ever wore, what would it be? The full Gucci look in leather that I wore a few years ago. This must be Alina. You look beautiful. Could it? No, that's Gucci not. That's in not. Leather that I wore a few years ago. This must be Alina. No. Beautiful. Thank no you. reason for the cut, isn't it? Cut? If you could teach any subject at school, what would it be? Oh, we've got somebody else coming in. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? I just, I see you doing this. I just wonder if, because I've been thinking, I've worked with you for three years. And I've had all these questions. Beautiful. But Alina, you're usually so quiet. Well, I just want to be respectful and don't want to freak you out. I'm a huge fan. Manny, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. No, thanks for the sub. Oh, Four months of hell. If you could teach any subject at school, what would it be? Singing. I'm going to get you another dress. Thank you. Victoria, what's your favourite food? Japanese. Favourite drink? Hot sake. If you could have a date with someone, living or dead, who would it be? My husband. What is one thing in this world that... Come on! Come on! Oh, that's what I was going to say, see, about the game that I'm playing. She says about her husband that she's looking for, oh, my, my best friend or my... my old pal. And I'm like... That is, I think, I don't know if I said it yesterday. You know what you get sometimes in these radio stations? Could be Radio 1, uh, Radio 2 or something. Um, like Steve's Sunday Love Hour, or, uh, Love Hour or something like that. Could you just give a mention to my husband, John? We've been married for 40 years. He's my best friend. And I'm like... Who, where... Does that... Who are these people? Who, after being married... Sunday Love Songs, I Did I say Love Hour? Um, after, like, 40 fucking years together? Or th or at least 30? Worst fucking enemy, me I like it. Dr. Moth, thanks for the sub. Hashid, thanks for the sub. You must have to be fucking, like, brainless in some sort of way to be able to live with somebody for that long and be, all oh, my best pal. And this... You need to get rid of. Eight. Do you, who would it be? Favourite drink? Hot sake. If you could have a date with someone, living or dead, who would it be? My husband. Like what? that. Like that. If you could have a date with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? My husband. Who's that? Who, who are you saying that for? Come on. Come on. There's one thing in this world that we need to get rid of. Eight. Do you believe in free will or destiny? I believe that free will leads you to your destiny. What's one thing you cannot live without? My Velcro rollers. What is the definition of, of misery? Yeah, right. Cappy Bates. Besides LA, what's the definition of misery? Cappy Bates. Besides LA, what's... Yes, man! Yes, man! She's a fucking misery fan, man! She's a king fan, man! Yes! Fucking brilliant, man! Clever! Clever! Who do you visit the most? Paris. What is your idea of a perfect date? A night in with my husband. Do you believe... A oh, fuck right off! Come on! Just say, oh, you know, just sort of sit in front of the telly. Uh, oh, oh, with my husband, of course, you know. Love at first sight? Absolutely. At first sight, what made you fall in love with David? Duh. At what age were you the happiest? I'm really happy right now. Great. Hi, Victoria. Hey. 
A man from America would like to ask you a question. Okay. Hey, Victoria, I'm finally ready to propose to my girlfriend. I just need to know, should I use my grandma's old wedding ring? You or fucking loudmouth. Should I get a brand new diamond ring? Now that is a tough question. What's it going to be? I'd get a new one. Don't give her that rope heel thing. <laughs> What's your spirit animal? A swan. What's your favorite type of animal print? Leopard. If your life were a movie, what would the title be? The Hunger Games. It's taken. Really? If you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? I would be able to... It's taken. Leopard. If your life were a movie, what would the title be? The Hunger Games. It's taken. Leopard. If your life were a movie, what would the title be? The Hunger Games. What? She didn't just say what I think she said, did she? It's taken. I don't know a story. I don't know a story. Really? If you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? I would be able to work out and sleep at the same time. What's... Food disorder joke, is it? She was anorexic. Is, is, is she kind of open about it in, in that kind of way that maybe say somebody who, like imagine, I don't know, fucking Elton John or somebody cracking a wee joke about some sort of past of drug abuse or alcoholism. She's not talking about like presently. It's it's kind of like she's she's talking about like in the past. She's having a bit of a sort of joke about a bad thing. She's not talking about like oh, aye, right, 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 right. Always right. makes you dance. Right, straight. I see. She had done her exit, but she's open about that. I get it. Right, Marvin right, right, right. Gaye, gotta give it up. What are three words to describe London? Inspiring, energetic, multicultural. What's the one thing everyone should do when in London? Come to London and visit my store. What do you like most about Americans? The positive energy. Besides LA, where would you live? New York. How would your kids answer that? New York. If you could bring see if this, see if th this video is like six years old. See if this went on for like, see if this was on all the time. Like, every day. Like imagine there was a 10 hour video, a new one every fucking day. I think I would watch it every day. I would try. I would be cancelling streams. Megadansky, an overpie. Thanks for the sub. What's your favourite spice? Um, would you? Right. I remember asking this before, but salt is like seasoning into it. But would you still regard it as a spice, or does it need to come from like a kind of plant? No. Um, um, maybe ginger, ginger, I like ginger, cinnamon, probably ginger, would you say ginger's a spice? Right. Looking back one look from your 20s, what would it be? None. Have you seen those spice girls? I'm talking about actual spaces, by the way. I'm not talking about ginger space. Girls films? New York. If you could bring back... How the fuck was fucking... Scary space scary? Back one look from your 20s, what would it be? None. Have you seen those Spice Girls films? I was in middle school at the time. Of course I did. Okay. Victoria, what's the one word you've used too much? Grey area, and I know that's two words. What's one vice you wish you would give up? I don't have a vice. If you could be a pro. Oh, she's getting annoyed now. Oh, at any spots. What's the one word you've used too much? Grey area, and I know that's two words. And I know that's two words. I know what you're going to say. Right? What's one vice you wish you would give up? I don't have a vice. I don't have a vice. When can we fucking stop this? You said it was 50 questions. It, no, it's 73. I, no, you did not. You did You did not say it was 73. You said 50. No, that's two words. 
What's one vice you wish you would give up? I don't have a vice. I don't have, I don't have a vice. I don't know. If you could be a pro at any sport. I don't know. Or what would it be? Tennis. If you could star in one movie, what would it be? I starred in Spice World the movie and I am still waiting for my outstanding achievement award. Who would you want to write your biography? Me. What would the name be of your autobiography? It's a work in progress. Stop, stop, Me. stop, stop, stop. Still waiting for my outstanding achievement award. Who would you want to write your biography? Me. That would make it an autobiography. So maybe you could say an autobiography is a, a, a like a sub, sub class, sub set type. Oh, by, um, no, fuck it, I'll, I'll let What would go. the name be of your autobiography? Let one go. It's a work in progress. What phrase would define how you live your life? Pot Wait a minute. Work in progress. What phrase would define how you live your life? It's Wait a, a minute, let me, let me see the what phrase blood. Would def let me see the blood in that mirror. That's strange, that. No, look, it's nothing, it's nothing. I mean, they wouldn't exactly do a fucking cut there. Life. That was weird, that. Positive energy and creative visualization. What's your biggest Sorry, goal? I missed that. Sorry. I missed that. Sorry. Write your biography. Me. What would the name be of your autobiography? It's a work in progress. What phrase would define how you live your life? Positive energy and creative visualization. What's your biggest goal for 2015? To really learn more and figure out what I can do to really help and make a difference. Where do you go when you need? Same here. That's me. To be alone. I can't go anywhere on my own. My kids follow me everywhere. What's one thing about you people would be surprised to know? Comedy gold. If you could choose anyone in the world to live next door to you, who would it be? Mr. Valentino lives next door to me and it doesn't get much better than that. If you could no, 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 no. You, who would it be? About you people would be surprised to know. Comedy gold. If you could choose anyone in the world to live next door to you, who would it be? My husband, as well as living in the same house. So he's her go on a date with. He's who I have done away. Um, he's he lives. He's my neighbour and stays in the same house. So like we've got houses all around us. It's like that Rubik's cube. That's our house in the middle, and we've also got these houses all around. So nobody can move in next days. Like buying a row of seats in the pictures. Buy one at the left, one at the right, so you don't get anybody next day. Mr. Valentino lives next door to me and it doesn't get much better than that. If you could do a duet with one person, who would it be? My husband. I've duetted with Sir Elton John and it doesn't get much better than that. Has she just, has she not just said it doesn't get much better? You can get I... About you, people would be surprised to know. Can't go any next door to me and it doesn't get much better than that. If you could do a duet with one person, who would it be? I've duetted with Sir Elton John and it doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> Is that, 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 no, that isn't, that isn't, that isn't, that isn't, I'm, I'm starting to wonder now, why would you script that? Because that's the same thing. You've just said the same thing. So either it's been scripted badly. It's been scripted that she's meant to say, and it doesn't get much better than that. You know, like, because she said it again. She knows she said it again. She knows that you know. I stay next door to Valentino. It doesn't get better than that. I've duetted with Elton John. It doesn't get much better than that. Or she wasn't meant to say that. She just, she used the line for before and sort of put it in. But the, this is one shot. No, is this one shot? Is this whole fucking six minute thing one shot? Give yourself advice at age 13, what would it be? Your skin's gonna clear up and it's all gonna be fine. If you could do something else with your life, what would it be? I wouldn't do anything else with my life. Victoria, last question. Do you take American Express? It's on the house. You are too kind, that is so nice of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It Can I, let me see what she does with the bike Victoria, here. last question. Hold something on. else with your life, what would it be? I wouldn't do anything else with my life. Victoria, last question. Do you take oh, ah, the tape, the tape, the bag guy has not been synced properly. He's putting the tape on the bag so it's not open. So he put the tape on the on the left, but he was just about to put the tape on the right, but she turns around, picks it up. The, you were too slow, mate. And he offers her the tape, but for fuck's sake, she's in the middle of an interview. 
If you could do something else with your life, keep on the left. I wouldn't do anything. Come on, Victoria. Last question. Do you want that? Do you want this? Victoria, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. Stop the interview. Stop the interview. I have to give. I need to give for the tape here. Sorry. Do you take American Express? It's on the house. You are too kind. That is so nice of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Victoria. There's a problem Thank with the Jenny. bag. There's a problem with the bag. The contents fell out on the way home. Um, because one of the bits was wasn't taped. And I know you could say, well, it was free, don't worry about it, but I now owe you a favour. But I didn't actually get the favour you gave me. So I just want to let you know. That's, that's, was that really one fucking take? Can it be? What's your, what's your secret talent? I used to be a... Can it be? One fucking take? There's people doing spiffs and all the rest of it. Um, hold on. There's other ones. Vogue, 73. No, there's him. Margot Robbie. No. Daniel Radcliffe. Who do you think will be good at it? Taylor Swift. Derek Zoolander, no thanks, no, no, no any of that. Uh, Zendaya, by the way, it's Zendaya, and I know because she said it herself. Uh, who would, who's, who would be good? Who'd be good? Emily Blunt would be a natural. Emily Blunt would be an absolute natural. I think Sarah Jessica Parker would actually be a wee bit tense. Amy Adams, absolute natural. Taylor Swift, absolute natural. Donatella Versace, I think maybe slightly cringy, but I think an absolute natural. I, th I actually think Olivia Coleman would actually no be that natural. I think actors think too much. Like Daniel Radcliffe, I th I think his want to be With natural. With head and shoulders supreme, you go from. I'm don't worry. I'm not going to watch the whole lot, right? Daniel Radcliffe, I think. Right. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, no worries, man. Sit down. Yeah, I'm just going to ask you 73 questions in an unreasonably short amount of time. Sure. Right. So, what's it we're doing? What's it we're doing here? Right, Braxton Swine, Omega Whiskers, Mega Dansky, thanks for the subs. So what's it with then? 73 questions, right? Right? Right, all right. Cool. What book are you reading? Um, the Aran Islands by J.M. Singh. What's a book that positively shaped you? Uh, the Master of Margarita. If you wrote an autobiography, what would the title be? Bring on the Empty Broomsticks. How long have you been living in New York City? I don't really live here, but I've been sort of coming back and forth for about six years. What's your favorite place to have? Natural? Natural. I, 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 I don't. I don't really live here, but I've, I've actually become just come back. To, you know. Hang out in New York City, Central Park. What's the coolest thing about New York City? That you can order pancakes and breakfast any time, day or night. What's the best thing about performing on Broadway? The adrenaline rush. What's the best? It's quite natural. Um, oh wait a minute. Has this went for one take straight to the? The wait 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 wait. So Al Pacino staring at me from the audience, and I nearly lost. Wait a minute. Can you describe? Uh, wax my arm. Yes, we've got another person asking a question. Hi, I'm Sophie. I'll be your server for the evening. Can you describe to me a situation where you're <laughs> suddenly nervous? Uh, yeah. Server for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophie. I'll be a server for the evening. Could you describe a situation where uh, you had a colleague that you had to, you know, give into trouble or at least discipline in some sort of way? Uh, what and how you dealt with that? Okay. Uh huh. And have you had a? Have you ever had any problems? Could you describe a situation in your, in your office where, there was a task that you had to you had to solve that you felt was perhaps below, um, your position, but you you had to sort of get your hands dirty and how you felt about that. 
Okay. Okay. Well, I can just tell you right now, uh, we're impressed. Very impressed. We do have another few people to interview today, but um, really, really uh, enjoyed this chat. Um, but we sh you should hear from us before the weekend, if not uh, Monday. But really, really great. You should be proud. Life blooms. Thanks for the sub. I'm gonna I'm gonna start a pub or a restaurant where uh, the waiter does this. Uh, wax my ass. What was that? What's the strangest thing you've done to prepare for a roll? Uh, wax my ass. Hi, I'm Sophie. I'll be your server for the evening. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hi, hi there. Sorry. Fucking timing, man. Hi. Uh, wax my ass. Hi, I'm Sophie. I'll be your server for the evening. Can you describe to me a situation where... Can you describe to me what, what you're talking about there and why you thought that was appropriate? Okay, you felt the most... Hi, I'm Sophie. I'll be your server for the evening. Can you describe to me a situation where you felt the most nervous? Uh, yes, at the time. Aye, I'm going to start a pub or a restaurant where the waiter comes at you and then says, um, can you describe a situation where you've been your most nervous? What's that, sorry? Evening. Can you describe to me a situation where you felt the most nervous? Uh, yes, um, at the Tony Awards one year, acid. I was dancing there, and just before I started, I saw Al Pacino staring at me from the audience. Sorry, the awards one year. I'm sorry, you don't appear to be listening to me. You've just asked me a question, and you don't appear to be listening to my answer. I was dancing there, and just before I started, I saw Al Pacino staring at me from the audience, and I nearly lost my mind. <laughs> cool. Uh, your ping pong table is ready if you want to play. Audience, and I. Right, she's obviously, she's obviously nervous, right, she's obviously nervous. She's meant to look at the camera in a kind of, um, you know, just a sort of relaxed way, but it's, it's turned out like this. <laughs> cool. Well, you're, you're... Mm. One year I was dancing. I'm sorry, it's just part of the thing here where... We have to say, th it's a bit like Jamie Oliver's restaurants where there's a list of words you had to say. Do you know about that? You know about, I showed you before, didn't I? Jamie Oliver. Kitchen list. No, 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 no. That's not it. Jamie Oliver. Words list. There it is. Let, uh, servers at Jamie Oliver restaurants told to use words like scrummy and slamming look that to use words like radical wicked a splash harmonious scrummy uh, dollop legendary there's there was other ones there's other ones there like words to use when selling our fab specials There we go. They had to say that. Look, proper rustic. They had to say things like proper rustic. So what she has today in this restaurant is ask you when you've been your most nervous and then look to the person. Don't just direct your attention to the person you're asking the question to. Look to whoever they're with, their friend, partner, whoever. You know, look to them as if, you know, I'm, I'm also interested in you. And then look back to the person, smile and nod, and then take them to the table. It just kind of shows you you're interested in them. It's not just, oh, he, like, you give me money and I serve you food, goodbye. Just show, what what sort of, do you play, What what's your favourite kind of, like, uh, light shade? So let's say you moved into a house and there's a light bulb hanging down. What's the first sort of thing you get? Is it the paper, round paper ones? Or do you want the whole thing ripped down and get like a wee kind of mini chandelier thing up there? Do you like things that swing? Or do you like the things that are like rock solid? Oh, good. Well, your table's... Hi, I'm Sophie. What's the strangest thing you've done to prepare for a roll? Uh, wax my ass. Hi, I'm Sophie. I'll be your server for the evening. Hiya. Can you describe to me a situation where you felt the most nervous? Uh, yes, at the Tony Awards one year, I was dancing there. Fuck me, man. 
I can describe a fucking situation where you felt the most fucking nervous. Can you describe a situation where you felt the most nervous? Sure, but no, sorry, the reason why I'm asking is because I'm kind of freaking it right now. Um, Honestly, I thought this would be fine. Oh, you're going to be playing like a, a server, right? So you're going to be, and you're going to be going up to Daniel Radcliffe and all we need to ask is, um, is a situation being your most nervous? Is that it? That's it? Oh, that's going to be great. Telling all our pals. Got this nice wee thing for Vogue. Vogue? You're going to be in a magazine? Well, it's for a, vi it's a, a video questions thing and it's going to be with a thingy who played Harry Potter, right? But as the fucking time, as the, the date got closer, the nerves started to kick in. I've been there. Like, I didn't think, I, I didn't think I'd get nervous with this. But no. Can you describe to me a situation where you felt the most nervous? Uh, yes, at the Tony Awards one year. Fuck me, man. That's like, com that's like, started. that's like coming up in a fucking achy. Uh, yes, at the Tony Awards Look. one year, I was dancing there and just before I started... I can fucking see her fucking heart beating. You felt the most nervous. Uh, yes, at the Tony Awards one year, uh -huh. I was dancing uh -huh. there. Um, mm-hmm. You getting eight and, a, eight and a half a pills? I am new. I, I, I am new. You alright? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, fucking. Oh, I don't think I should have took a whole one. <laughs> I don't think I should have took a whole one. How much would you take? Just a half. Just a half. Just a half. Are they ones? Just a half. What did you take? A whole one. Right. Hmm. How you feeling? I just kind of let out a wee bit. Just try to kind of keep above it. Try to keep my head above the water just now. It'll be fine in a wee minute though. Yeah. Be a situation where you felt the most nervous. Uh, yes, at the Tony Awards one year, I was dancing there and just before mm -hmm. I started, I saw Al Pacino staring oh. at me from the audience and I nearly lost my mind. All right, good. Cool. Good. Uh, your ping pong table's ready if you want. From the audience and I nearly lost my mind. <laughs> cool. Uh, your ping pong table's ready if you want. <laughs> Cool. Your ping pong is is ready now. Sheeran really reminds me of Keanu Reeves. Audience and I nearly looked it. I was dancing there. You know, no, no looks wise, but just the, you know, the kind of... Yeah. You, know, you know, like Keanu Reeves in Parenthood. When he's at the fridge. And just before I started, I saw Al Pacino staring cool. at me from the audience and I nearly lost my mind. Cool. Uh, uh, your ping pong table is ready if you want to follow me. Thank you. Dan, how do you feel about ping pong? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to beat you. If you could be the best of... Hold on. Keanu Reeves... Pet, and he does this sort of... Keanu Reeves... Parenthood. And he's like at the fridge. In the world, at any sport, what would it be? Boxing, flyweight. Do you prefer American football or non-American football? American football. What's the best sports movie of all time? Um, Undefeated. It's a documentary. What's your favorite movie of all time? Um, Twelve Angry Men. Favorite movie in the past five years? Kids, you will be a lifer. Seems it. He seems all. He seems all right. Um, The Imposter. Movie you laughed the hardest. You will be a lifer. That made you cry. Um, Little Miss Sunshine. If you could star in any movie in history, what would it be? Uh, Guys and Dolls. What's your favorite? Right, he's. What's your favorite thing about America? Oh wait a minute! Uh, right, 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 right. You're always moving forward. What's your favorite thing about America? Uh, America. Why is she so nervous? Has she got another bit coming up? That she uh, is she nervous about what's to come? Oh man, who's this? Favorite living musician? Tom Lehrer. If you could get Tom Lehrer to do a cover of a modern song, what would it be? Um. It'll be a parody of We Didn't Start the Fire. Hey, Dan. Hey, Zoe. Hey. How are you? Very good. How are you? That didn't count as a question. <laughs> What's the best thing to do with a girl on a first date? Who's she? Who's she? Um, play ping pong. Best present you've ever gotten a girl? Uh, some of my terrible poetry. Best present a girl's ever gotten you? Um... <laughs> 
not telling me. I don't like table tennis. Major turn on. Um, Shit, it's a somebody makes me laugh. Major turn wait, 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 wait. Telling me my poetry was terrible. Major turn on. Major turn on. Pornography. Um, somebody makes me laugh. Major turn off. <laughs> Someone who says stupid things. Sure. Um, can you just hang on one second? Yeah. Will you show me something? Oh God. Those didn't count as questions either. Will you show me a time step? I'll try. Okay, you. I gotta go. No, it was your turn. Okay. Dan, who's the last person you texted? So keep that in mind, everybody. Keep that in mind. The music that you hear isn't in this uh, pub. It's, it's over it. So this is all quiet. This um, whole thing. Friend. Now Look, that's how quiet it is. I'll try. Now okay, you. I gotta go. No, it was your turn. Okay. Dan, who's the last person you texted? Um, my friend Jeff. What's your favorite app? Uh, the NFL fantasy football app. Favorite website? Uh, Deadspin. Kittens or puppies? Puppies. Who chooses kittens? Well, eh, fucking what? I thought you were shite in Harry Potter, by the way. You should never have made it to being a full-time, full-grown-up fucking actor. You only got in because, I don't know, you're a bit confident or something, but really, you're not that fucking good. And I've never watched a film you've been in that I've went, oh, he was good in that. What's your favorite thing about America? Uh, Americans. What's your favorite thing about Americans? Um, their positivity. What's the most American The positive, American thing positivity. Um, the phrase, a whole nother... Is that, is that what we're just saying now? Can you say something that probably a lot of Americans people will enjoy you saying in an up. American accent? I would like a proper cup of coffee in a proper copper coffee pot. Alright, uh, you win. Can you give a quick victory speech? Uh, let's just do handshakes. Oh, cool. God, you remember handshakes before COVID? Now, why was she nervous? Why was she nervous? Wait! It's an outtake. We'll do some bowling. Yeah, absolutely. Or just, you know, read books in a, in a, in a table tennis hall like we are now. All right, great. Sounds good. Hey, Dan. Hey, Zoe. Should we subscribe to the Vogue channel? Well, are we really cool people? I think our moms think so. Then yes. Let's go do it. Right. And can I just very briefly look at one other person? He was all natural there. He was on natural there. And I'm gonna tell you Emily Blunt will be completely natural. Dean Johnson, thanks for the sub. Daniel In Great Value Festive. Daniel Radcliffe starts as a movie producer just saying. Oh pulling a few strings, yeah. Cerullis, thanks to two of bits. Dead by Daylight and Overwatch Detox is going great. This stream is amazing. Exactly! Groceries delivered in his It just puts a wheel obstacle in my way Deliveroo. between me jumping on uh, to stop me jumping onto Dead by Daylight or Overwatch and going right, I'm abandoning the trucking stream or whatever, and I'm going to do this. Cress up thanks to 200 bits. Kittens are better than puppies. Never trust a man who waxes his ass. Yes. Well, it depends. Bonk, thanks for gifting that sub. Jiggle Wiggle Joe, thanks to 200 bits. YouTube Detective is one of my favourite hats you wear. Much they like, oh, glad, glad you like it. I'm trying to walk out the detective, but. Massive legend, Paige, thanks for the sub. You're welcome, Phil Bimbreach. Sean Leeds, Life Bloom, Braxton Swine. Thanks for the subs. Hey, right, let's see. For your 73 questions. Yeah. Emily Blunt. Hello, Joe. Hello, Get out of here, Sam. Here we are for your 73 question yes. interview. Can't wait, and first of all, if I may be blunt. Mm. <laughs> Why are you here on the Vogue floor? Uh, so Anna is in Europe for the week and she's asked me to take over the offices for her. Big shoes of filth. I know, come with me. Do you like living in New York City? I do, I love it. Okay, where'd you grow up? I grew up in London. Okay, uh, what did you learn about fashion from working on the film? Just be more fierce and wild. I learned that from Patricia Field, our costume designer. On average, how many times has your husband seen the film? I would say oh. that from Patricia Field, our costume uh if I was her, if I'm, if I'm reading into her, if I'm reading into her body language and her face a bit, I think it's at this point, maybe she's gone, I actually can't be fucked with this. I actually can't be fucked with this. Costume designer. On average, how many times has your... That, 
has fierce and wild. That kind of, you know, like, um, I think I'd like to. Listen, I'm just going ahead. Um, I better get the, better get the. Um, I'm going to get the last train. I was going. I was going to stay, but I actually got to get the last train. I learned that from Patricia Field, our costume designer. On average, how many times has? Uh, I uh huh yeah. Your husband seen the film. I would say a solid twenty-three times. Now, speaking of John, how long have you guys been married for? Been married for eight years. Is it true? Who, who's, who's, who's the husband? Is there somebody? John Krasinski. Who's that? Oh, him. Oh, oh, so th oh, in a quiet place. Right. Right, so they actually are husband, right, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. Oh, I see. One other, I really don't like that fucking Anna Winter. I think it's the fur coat, fucking, or the fur stuff. Who's, who's she? Who's Emily Ratajkowski? Who's that? Model, right? Right, who else we got? Who else we got? Who else we got? Who else? Was that after the? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Tony Hawk, Michael Kors, who's that? Who's that? He's a designer, all oh, right, right. John Early, who the fuck's that? Who's this cunt? Oh, it's a joke, it's a, oh, it's just a guy, it's a guy, it's just a guy. Um, it's a, it's a joke. Right, everybody's doing their own. Everybody's doing their own ones. Is that it? Are we finished? Is there a playlist? Aye. Down, down, down. How do I look at the playlist? There it is there. Ain't good, ain't good, ain't good, ain't good, ain't good. What's the oldest one? Uh, Tony Hawk. I saw Tony Hawk. Do you want to? Roger Federer. Bet that would be boring as fuck. Bet that would be boring as fuck. James Corden. Fuck off. Oh, I'm waiting to watch it just to annoy oh, myself. This Uber is taking forever. All right. Hey. Hey, but isn't James Corden? I was actually on my way to ask you 73 questions. Well, let's start now. Hop in. I'll give you a ride. Let's do it. Cool. Here we go. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I fucking can't. Do it, coward. All right, oh, this Uber is taking forever. All right. Fucking beep your horn, hey, dear. Hey, but isn't James Corden? I was actually on my way to ask you 73 questions. Well, let's start now. Hop in. I'll All give right. you a ride. Let's do it. Cool. Here we go. Now, listen. Why do people not like James Corden? I don't know why I don't like James Corden. I don't know why. I don't know why. He's a huge cunt, is he? I honestly, I've, I've no, I mean, he, he heard we, or oh, he, he was a bit cheeky to somebody, I don't know, was he? 
Was he really? You just don't know. Plenty of fucking actual horrible people out there who, when I see it, I go, oh, I like them. You know, people who I, I think are, like, like, let's say Prince, right? Prince. Now, I'd really like Prince. But I was also aware that he was a right fucking bit of a dick to people. He wasn't evil, but quite dismissive and all, all the rest of it. Um, but you kind of almost see Prince as a fucking unique sort of person, almost like as a... I don't know. Just kind of like, well... He's maybe a certain way. And... He's so talented and maybe led to him be so talented that he's just kind of like that with people and he's just a wee bit... A bit fucking different. Like that. You try and put it like that. Well, just when you've got maybe that much talent, maybe it fucks with your head or something. I don't know. Yet I like him. Yet him... Don't really heard any bad things about him, but okay. It's my main. I think my main thing is I've never just seen him all kind of natural. It's a like a performance. So this is what the view is like. I guess so. I'm a huge fan of the Late Late Show, by the Thank way. You very much. All right. So how are you? But this is going to change everything. This is going to change everything. See me watching this though. Not tonight's show. Uh, Joe says, from bitter experience, I know that no leeway can be given to geniuses for their behaviour towards people. No, absolutely. Uh, good. Who is on tonight's show? John Leguizamo and Sasha Baron Cohen. I love carpool karaoke. Thank you. Uh, what's your favourite moment from it? When Stevie Wonder called my wife. What one celebrity is on the dream list to stop the car for? Beyonce. <laughs> what one celebrity would you not stop the car for? Dominic Cooper, he can walk. If you were in a boy band, what would the band's name be? Insatiable, because you just can't get enough. Who would be in Insatiable? Me and the four remaining members of O-Town. Can we do a little karaoke right now? Right. Sure. All right, it's got to be public domain, though. That's fine. I have a stack of public domain songs right here. There you go. Amazing ah. grace. That's plenty. That's, that's that. That's that. I can't really figure out what it is I don't like about him. 